Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logic. Today we will be going to discuss the problem minimum cost climbing stairs. This is a lead code easy and the number for this is 746. So it is a question which is basically known for uh, the one of the most simple dynamic programming questions. Like when you learn dynamic programming this is the first question that would you would attempt most likely the first question. So in this question you are given a cost array and uh, the cost is actually uh, the cost of climbing the stairs so you have to climb the stairs from 0th index to the final index where you can start from either 0 or 1 index and you have to reach the top of the floor and every time uh, you you have to climb you have to add the cost of i to the total cost and uh, you have to return the minimum cost that you would require <coughs> to reach the top of the floor so let's take an example so the first example is uh, cost equal to 10 15 and 20 in this since we can start from either index 0 or index 1 so we choose to start from index 1 and we add the cost of i and we climb two two steps 1 and 2 and we reach the top and uh, suppose we have another example we have this one uh, 100, 111, 100, 100, 101. So in this, what you'll do? Uh, because the the cost at index one is 100, we'll not choose that. We'll start from index zero. We have a one. Add one to the cost. Climb two stairs. Then again, we have cost of i equal to one. Add one to the cost. Climb two stairs. Then again, we have one. Climb, climb and add one to the total cost. Now, if we take two steps from this index we will get on 100 and we don't want that because we have a one next to it so we'll add one and we'll not take two steps we'll take one step and we'll climb one step go ahead then again we have one add one to the total climb two steps you reach the n minus one index now you can add the last and climb at the top of the floor so the basic intuition for this is solving using a recur uh, recursive function but the recursive function may cost you a higher time complexity and uh, which is not effective and may cost you uh, a time limit exceeded so because the time complexity will be uh, uh, 2 key power n in this uh, recursive function let us have a look at the recursive function as well the, the recurrence relation will be something like minimum cost of i equal to cost of current plus minimum cost of uh, i minus 1 and minimum cost of i minus 2 since because you can take either one step or two, two steps so you will choose the minimum uh, minimum of the cost from which you can reach the current step either from i minus 1 index or i minus 2 index whichever will give the minimum cost you will come by that route so that's why we are doing this that minimum cost of i equal to cost of i plus minimum of minimum cost of i or minimum cost of i minus 2 i have also written the code for the recursive uh, function but it, I was given a time limit exceeded. You can see the code for this. First of all, I am defining the length, and then I am simply returning mat dot minimum minimum cost of either n minus one or n minus two from which whichever I can reach with a minimum cost. And in the minimum cost, I have taken a base case. If n is less than zero, return zero. If n equal to zero or one will return cost because we can reach directly we can start from either 0 or 1 so we will return cost of n in case of n equal to 0 and n equal to 1 otherwise we will simply follow the recurrence relation cost of n plus minimum of cost of n minus 1 or cost of n minus 2 but since the time complexity for this is 2 power n this will give a time limit exceeded now the next approach will be memoizing the, the recursive approach. 
so in this i try to memoize the recursive approach i took a db array and uh, i defined i stored the db of n every time every recursive call and i returned the db of n if it was already present so this this did, didn't give me a time complex uh, time limit exceeded but but still it is not one of the most op uh, optimized approach that you would uh, show to the interviewer because the interviewer wants a simple approach and this is a bit complex because this is a memoization of the recursive approach there are more simpler approaches to this question and moving on to such an approach it is the bottom up db you instead of starting from the nth number we start from the zero at index of climbing so in this what we do we define the db array and we choose where to start from and we can start from zero or one so you can see for i less than 2 we have a db of i equal to cost of i because we can start from 0 and 1 otherwise what we are doing is cost of i plus minimum of db of i minus 1 and i minus 2 and uh, this was a much more optimized approach i mean the complexity is the same but this looks way more elegant than the previous solution but let's now come to a uh, more space optimized because we are only using a db of i minus 1 and a db of i minus 2 we do not require the entire array for this so what we can do we can replace the db of i and db of i minus 2 with steps steps variable like step of i minus 1 and step of i minus 2 which is this you can see this is the minimum this is the most space optimized approach space here is o of 1 constant space we are using time complexity is o of n linear term complexity so what we have done we have taken a variable first step equal to cost of 0 second step cost of 1 and if the n is less than 2 we are returning whichever is minimum otherwise we are taking a current calculating using the recursion relation cost of i plus minimum of first and second then the second becomes the first and the current becomes the second for next iteration and in the last we return the minimum of the first and the second because we have to return the minimum possible way from which we can return so this was my solution for today's video and uh, please do like share and subscribe uh, my channel and uh, please support guys thank you for watching the video have a nice day